Welcome back. Today I'm looking at Dragon for Mac 5. It's got a fabulous option there called Commands. Now with the Commands options, you've got them in Dragon Dictate 4 as well. And a lot of people tend to moan about Dragon Dictate and Dragon for Mac 5 saying the Commands don't work that well. And to a degree you are right. But with the Commands option you can add as many commands as you want. You can tailor commands specifically to your applications or programs. There's no limit. You can't do that using Dragon Naturally Speaking Premium. The only version you can do that with is Dragon Naturally Speaking Professional and that will cost you over £600. So you can see what a great option this can be once you start utilising it. So let's get straight into it. So to access your commands window, go to the icon at the top, tap once and select Manage Commands. Here on the left are your current applications with commands. Now when you first install Dragon you do have default applications in there with commands. But if you've upgraded your profile from Dragon Dictate 4 then you'll probably notice you've still got all your commands upgraded there for applications. In the window is where you actually have your commands. So if I click on for example Microsoft Word, I have Microsoft Word commands there. And if I click Safari, I have Safari commands. Now what I want to try out today is, I've got a new application I've just downloaded called Transcriptions. It's totally free and it's great for recording a speaker from a lecture or from minutes, whatever you recorded from a meeting, and using that and transcribing it. Now what you can do with this, you can click play here, play the audio back and transcribe it on the window on the left, and you import your file from here. Now the problem is I have to keep pressing the shortcut key pause. So I've come to the top options here and select media, you can see there's my shortcut key to pause. Now that's a bit of a pain. So what I need is Dragon to create a command to play and pause, just by saying it. I could say play, so it would start playing the speaker's voice, and I could listen to that, then say play again to stop, and start dictating my information text here on the left. And I can sync that quite well. So why don't I add that command? Easy to do, so let's just close transcriptions. And on the left here you see I haven't got that in there with my program list applications. So I'm going to add it. So click the plus button, bottom left and there it is transcriptions and this is how you add your applications so this will be specific to this application these commands now click on transcriptions and you can see in my window I have absolutely nothing because there is no redefined commands for transcriptions there's no way Dragon could ever do that there'd be billions of them but you can tailor it to your needs so if you're using Adobe software for example and using Photoshop, After Effects, Dreamweaver you can tailor certain commands so I'm going to add a command now by clicking the plus button at the bottom and I'm going to give this a name. So I want to keep this simple. I'm just going to call this play. So I'm going to use the same command to play and stop. If I choose, I'll give it a description there by typing it in there. If you require, I'll just put transcription in for now. Although the actual command is the same as the description, really, but you can pop that in anyway just to tell you what it is. Context I'm using is transcription software. And there we go. Now, this is what I need to choose. I need to assess the menu item within my transcription program. So let's choose a menu item, tap it. And now if I select launch context, I should now be able to assess the menu. Click menu and there we go, I've now assessed the menu within transcriptions and there it is. So every time I say play, I can play and pause using that command. And now it's done. And you can see my commands here. And you see how you can tailor it now by adding your specific commands. And you can see it's a command I've added because there's nothing in there for transcriptions, but also the black silhouette indicates it's a user command, user defined, not built in. So I'm going to click save and we're going to try it out and close commands. So I need to open up transcriptions. So I'm going to use this option here to input the audio file and there it is, history lecture sample. So I should now be able to use the command, if I say play it should start playing, so I play again it should pause. See the cursor's blinking top left hand corner as well, should we give it a go? Wake up, play. And behind this innocuous title, the early middle ages, I think we're going to... Play, go to sleep. See how well that works? Wake up, play. Have to jazz it up a little, I think we're going to put an... Play. Here is some of my notes. New line. This will really make a difference when I need to take my lecture notes down. Full stop. Play. Exclamation mark on it, at least. But behind this innocuous... Play. 
go to sleep. Just one option there and all I did was assess the menu and I chose play pause but you can set it up any way you want. You might want to do a bit of formatting changing or use the edit option entirely up to you how you want to work that. But you can see there's not a lot of limits to it. So that will work for nearly every application so I'm going to close that. I'm not even going to save that. I don't need that. Say for example Word. Shall I go to Tools? Say you want to bring up Word Count. So I can access the menu through Tools Word Count. So again, open up your Commands window. This time, go to Microsoft Word. See what we've got. We haven't got Word Count in there, have we? So I'm going to add that, clicking plus. And I'm just going to call this Word Count. Again, Microsoft Word. That's the context I want to use it in. And again, we need menu item. Select menu item. So I need to find that in the menu item. Let's have a little look where it is. And there it is, tools, word count. So now I'll click on word count, it'll give me a word count. Shall we try that out? And it's specific to word. Click save to save it first. And then we'll see it on the left here. If I say word count, it should then bring that up for me. Wake up. Equal sign. Spelling mode. R A N D. Open bracket. Close bracket. Press enter. Word count. Go to sleep. As I said, simple. So though you find in Dragon actually speaking, maybe Dragon Dictate or Dragon for Mac 5 is not as responsive with the commands, as many command options, you can actually add your own commands quickly, as I've just done there. So that's using the menu items. Let's open back up the command window and see what else we've got in there. Now click the top down menu. If we go to the top, we've got something called Apple Script. Now this is a basic language you can use within Apple and they've created. So what we'll do, let's say it's a global command, you want to create a certain command to do something. Say I want to search YouTube quickly without having to open up Safari. Why not create a quick Apple Script to do that? And there's loads online you can find as well and use, so it's really useful. So I'm on global and I'm going to select plus to add a new command in the command window. And there it is. So I'm just going to call this YouTube. Nice and simple. Global, the command's going to work everywhere, but I need to choose Apple Script this time. So let's move Dragon Bar out of the way. Now you need to put a script in. I said there's loads online. But here's one I found earlier. And this should do the job. So let's just bring up a search for YouTube for me quickly. And all I've got to do is say YouTube and it should bring that up wherever I am. So we'll give it a go. So I'm going to click save and I've saved that in the global. So shall we try that out? Now this little window here is annoying you. You see I keep moving about. If we go up to the icon here and I can select hide status window. I can still indicate that it's in sleep mode by the colour there. So, shall we see if that works? Wake up. YouTube. And there you go. That's how well it works. So you can add scripts for almost anything, so definitely worth a look at as well. So let's use the Apple script option. Now, application. Say it's not opening an application for you. So, let's add a new command. I'm going to make it global so it works everywhere. I mean, if you're using Photoshop, you might just want to redefine certain commands for Photoshop. So then you create it here by clicking plus and adding it to your list, then adding the commands. But I want this to work globally. This time I'm going to show you application. Say it's an application program you want to open up, but it's not opening. Actually, I've just added transcriptions. Shall we see if that opens first? Open transcriptions. Quit transcriptions. Go to sleep. So that's working fine, but if it doesn't pick up, you can add it manually to an application it's not picking up. Let me show you how. So put the name in. So I just put in again, even though it's working. Give a description if required, but I think the command actually says what the description is anyway. Global so it works anywhere. So I was in Word and I said that open transcriptions, it would open. Application and I choose my application by clicking that. 
and there it is transcriptions click save so every time I say open transcription if it's not picking up it will then pick it up so you can use that for any application it's not actually picking up and then you'll see on the left here the command will then change to open transcriptions and there it is at the bottom so that works well for as well I'm going to add a new command in global this time I'm going to select bookmark now I've got this global because it means it can work anywhere so say I was in Word or Excel or a different application I want to do a quick research I could jump to a specific website now if you look down here at bookmarks use the bookmark command here jump to and it will jump to various websites there's loads built in there so have a little look there because there might be some in there already or some you might just want to get rid of but you can see there's quite a few in there but I want to add my own one to show you how to do it click plus to add a new one go online and let's find a website we could use so I'll put anything in randomly I think how to do world of history there we go hundred doors world of history now I'm going to copy that link so I want to keep jumping back to this website why not add it to my commands in dragon now first thing give it a name so I'm just going to call this don't get too carried away with the command names because remember you have to remember them so let's call this history123 give it a description if you require remember type is a bookmark so select bookmark and paste it control V there so now every time I say history123 whatever application I'm in, wherever I am, it should bring up that website. Should we try it out? I just want to make sure I close Safari. And I'm going to go back up to Dragon and bring the status window back again. Wake up. History123. Go to sleep. And another great little option you can use. So I've had varying bookmarks. I mean, you probably would have done jump to history one, two, three, because you keep the continuity of the rest of the bookmarks. But entirely up to you. Choice. So that's using bookmarks. What else have we got there? File and folder I'll show you next. So I'm going to click plus to add a new command again. I'm going to leave it global so it works everywhere. Because I might want to pull this up whenever. So actually I'm going to do the first one I did before and use that. So I might want to bring up Pacific file or folder. Well, again, it's global. Select file or folder. Now we need to find a path to put into this window here. But why not just drag and drop it? Because sometimes you can type the path down wrong. Click documents and see what I've got. Say I want to assess my... So what I need to do is pop a name in. So I'm going to say I want to open my read and write folder. That will do. Now I need to find the application. So with Finder, find the one you want and drag it in when you see the plus. Close that window. So every time I say open read and write, it should go straight to that folder. Shall we try it out? Click save. Wake up. Open read and write. Go to sleep. And there you go. Simple. You can also do that for a file. Let me show you. So I'm going to leave that as it is. It says file or folder, so I don't need to change the command. Again, let's find a file this time. So I want to use the dragon commands. Hold the left button and drag it in. So I'm going to call this this time. So let's try that out. Open Dragon Command. Wake up. Open Dragon Command. Go to sleep. And there you go. You can open up file and folders quickly just by using simple commands. That's Dragon Command. Also, we have there menu items we looked at. Shell script to show you later date. Now, automator workflow. Now, let me get rid of this in here. Command A and delete. Now go to Spotlight, type in Automator. 
This is great for creating workflows. For example, dictation command. You can use the built-in dictation command to create workflows by saying them. For example, you might want a Word document automatically convert into a PDF using a certain file name. Or you might want to send emails automatically. So you can create workflows using Apple Scripts and Automator here. Definitely worth a look at. They've got loads of built-in ones as well. Last but not least is your keystroke. So you can add shortcut keys for certain applications. For example, I was using MindView a while ago. They've got commands for it now with Dragon, but it wouldn't work. So I used the shortcut keys in there. So I used the command and a command, select all. So when I was in MindView, I just said, and the command will work specifically to MindView. So remember, if you had mind view in the list, then I can add that command specifically, select all, specifically for that application. But there's so many shortcut keys you can do in there and add to them as well. And if I click the special characters, you've got all the F buttons as well you might want to use as well. There, forward, delete, and delete. So definitely worth doing your shortcuts and then you can personalize your applications if you can't assess the commands through the menus just to make sure you've got full control over everything. And last of all, but not least, is a new option called Auto Text. Now, let me get rid of the dragon bar over there. This creates text macros. So for example, if you're sick of doing a certain format, it could be your address, could be a certain amount of formatting of text you have to do every time. You can create a command to automatically do that for you. I use this example online. Let's just go to any website. We'll go to Wikipedia. And what we're going to do is just grab some text out. Let's say a bit of formatting you need to always do. I want to bring something up. Control C, Command C. Click plus, you see I'm in auto text on the left, and that'll bring up a new command, and I'm going to paste it, control V there, and I could just call this my wiki. So every time I say my wiki, it should then input that text, should give it a go. Click save, wake up, open Microsoft Word, select all, delete that. My wiki. Go to sleep. And it's that simple. So using the command option you can see you can do so much with that, so definitely worth a look at. Hope that was a help. Thanks for watching.